Hello, welcome back. Okay, we're continuing on the story with Jill at the eye doctor. She's getting a new pair of glasses. Now, this is interesting. We talked about this before. You should already know this. Did you know? You should already know. It's talking about lenses, and I told you about this already. A lens is a curved, see-through surface inside the eye. Okay, so that's something else. I told you that a lens is the glass part, right? But you also have a lens in your body. It's made of your of your eye. The lens is on your eye, and it's curved, and you can see through it. You know, you, your skin you can't see through it, but on your eye it doesn't have skin. It has a special substance. There's a lens there. Okay. It helps us see. But sometimes, for some people like me, the lens is not perfect. There's, it's not the perfect shape, so it's hard to see. So what happens is we use another lens, like the one in this glass. It's also see-through. I can see through it, and if I put it in front of my eyes, <gasps> wow! I can see. Right? It helps me to see. The lenses and glasses help us see too. Just like these glasses here, okay. So let's continue with Jill. <clears throat> Then I put on special glasses. These are the special glasses. They're not normal glasses. If you wear these glasses, your friends will say, "Whoa, are you in a science fiction movie?" Right? They're very special glasses, right? So I looked at letters and pictures on a sheet of paper. Okay, so now she's going to look at through these special glasses at letters and figures on a sheet of paper. Here are the glasses. Here they they look cool, don't they? If you had these glasses, maybe your friends will say, "Wow, those are really cool glasses, right?" But they're very expensive and they're not very comfortable. Okay. Okay, the eye doctor tested my 3D vision next. 3D vision. You know, you have different kinds of vision. You have vision to see if something is clear or blurry. You also have 3D vision. What is 3D? Well, you probably know 3D from your computer or video games, right? 3D is is not just long and tall, but also deep, right? So 3D is three dimensions, right? Long, tall, and deep. Okay, those are the three dimensions, and every object that we look at has those three dimensions. So the doctor tests her 3D vision next. I wore different glasses. I looked at circles. I looked at animal pictures. Right? I told the eye doctor which pictures looked 3D. You can see these pictures here. Some of these pictures. Like these circles will seem to be closer, and some circles will seem to be farther. That measures 3D, right? The depth, how deep something is, and so she can see that, and the doctor can test how well she can see in 3D with special glasses. Some pictures appeared flat, and these are the 3D glasses that she's wearing, right? Had, did you ever go see a movie, maybe a Disney movie or animation movie, where you wear special 3D glasses? Then you can see the movie. It looks like things are coming out of the movie towards you, right? That's like these glasses here, and these glasses help her see those things that look like it's coming off the page. They're pretty cool too. Okay, so some pictures looked 3D. Some pictures seemed flat, no depth. Okay, so she's testing 3D vision here. She also tested what's this color? She tests for color. Some people have a hard time. Very few people have a hard time. They cannot see the different colors, right? Can you see the five here? Some people can't see the five. All they see is all orange, right? And here, what letter is?、Uh, what number? What number is this? This, of course, I'm making the shape too. It's a three. Some people can't see that. It looks like all one color. So we call that 
color vision. Let's read. The next test was fun. The eye doctor checked my color vision. So she checked the color vision. And you don't need glasses for that. It's just your eyes, right? There's no special glasses that you need to check the color vision. She gave me a book. She gave me a book. This is the book here. It had lots of colored dots, just like here, lots of colored dots. And you can see there's many pages in the book, right? I could see numbers among the dots. You can see the number three among the dots. Among means inside of, surrounded by, right? There are dots all around. So there are numbers among the dots, right? That meant I was not colorblind. If you cannot see the numbers, then we say that person is colorblind. Colorblind. But most people can see the numbers, no problem. A few people can't. It's okay. They have a normal life. They just can't see certain colors. Okay? And that's important. So the eye doctor needs to know all of this information. The eye doctor needs to know can your eyes see clear or blurry? Can your eyes see 3D or not? And can you see the different colors or not? So the doctor is getting all of this information. Finally, the eye doctor tested me for eye diseases. Now you can have a disease in your eye, a disease or infection. Byung, right? Infection. It's possible. So the doctor wants to make sure you have no disease, no infection. She used another machine. This is the machine that she used. I remembered this machine. I don't like this machine. It, it always, it, I don't like it because my eyes are very sensitive. But you push your forehead on this strap here. You push your forehead and then the doctor will shine a light in your eye. And I don't like that part. Oh, himdro. And then they, she can look through and she can see really inside your eye. It makes it really big so she can see all, everything inside your eye. Ooh. Okay. First, she checked the front surface of my eyes. The front surface of my eyes. Just the lens, right? And we can see the different parts of the eyes. Remember, before I taught you guys about pupil. The pupil is the black circle. We can see the black circle here. Now, I didn't talk about the color around the black circle. What is the color around the black circle? We call that the iris. And you know, different people have different colors of the iris. When you say, what color are your eyes, you're talking about the iris. What color is it? Many, for many people, it's brown. It can be black. Some people, it can be blue, right? It can be green. What color are your eyes? So that, when they talk about that, they're talking about the color of the iris. It's the colored circle around the pupil, okay? And the doctor can see very clearly those things. So first, the doctor checked the front surface. Then she used a different machine, and we can see that machine is here, right? That's a little bit more, uh, it's a little smaller, and she's looking at one eye at a time. With this machine, she could see the back of my eyes. She could see through my eye to the back of the eye. What is she looking for? She checked the blood vessels. Blood vessels. Blood vessels, you know, your body is full of blood. If Don't cut yourself, but if you cut yourself or you fall down and you scrape, their blood comes out. Blood is everywhere in your body. Well, blood goes through these vessels, right? Blood travels through your body through blood vessels. And you have blood vessels at the back of your eye, right? So she wants to check those to see if they look good. She said that my eyes were healthy. Whew, no problem. No disease, no infection. The blood vessels look good. I just need to. I just 
just as only man. I just need to wear glasses to help me see well. So Jill has some problem with her eyes. Her mother thinks, mm, I think you might need to go get glasses. So she goes to the eye doctor and she has many, many different tests. And, and the doctor uses many, many different machines. But in the end, after everything, whew, Jill's eyes are okay, they're healthy, but she just needs glasses, only needs glasses, nothing else. She needs glasses to see well. She just needs glasses. Now, there are two types of problems that many people have who wear glasses, right? I wear glasses, right? Why do I wear glasses? Why do you wear glasses if you wear glasses? There's two reasons. One reason is because people have nearsighted vision. Nearsighted vision. The other one is farsighted vision. Well, look at these pictures here. They're the same picture, but you can see different things. In the case of nearsighted vision, you can see the dog very well. The dog is very clear, but the background is blurry. It's hard to see. So nearsighted vision, trouble seeing things that are far away. If you take your glasses off, right, you look around. Where, where, where is everybody? Where's the camera? Where's, oh, oh there, there. Ah, oh, there's the camera. Okay. <laughs> see, I have a hard time seeing the camera, right? But I can read this paper, no problem. I can see the paper. I can read it. It's very easy to read the paper. So I am nearsighted, okay? That's my problem. I'm nearsighted. I can see the dog, but things far away, I can't see too well. Now, some people are farsighted. That means that when they don't have glasses, they can see things that are far away. Oh, it's very clear. But they can't read. They can't see things that are close by. Farsighted vision, trouble seeing things that are close. Usually older people have this problem. They have the farsighted problem. They can, they can see things that are far away, but they can't read things like a book or medicine uh, label, something like that. It's, it's hard for them to see that. And that's farsighted vision. So if you wear glasses, which one are you? Are you nearsighted or are you farsighted? This helps you know that. If you're nearsighted, you can see things that are near. If you're farsighted, you can see things that are far away. Okay, very interesting. We're learning a lot about our eyes in this lesson. Let's take a short break here and then we'll come back and we'll finish it up because Jill still has to do one more thing. She has to pick out what fashionable frames there are. Well, we'll learn about that in the next lesson.